Hi guys, I'm Rosh from RK Dudes here and welcome back to RK Dudes. So as you can see from the title, today we are going to learn about the balancing bird. So what is the balancing bird? This figure right here in my hand is known as a balancing bird. This figure can balance in almost any surface at any tip. This figure has said to fool people for many years. And today here on the channel, we are going to learn how this does not defy gravity but uses that gravity as an advantage to stay balanced. So without further ado, let's get started. gravity or the center of mass and the concept of equilibrium. So let's start. So the balancing bird. To understand its concept in detail, we have to look at simple gravity. What is gravity? Gravity is a force which pulls us down and gives an object mass or weight. So gravity acts on all parts of our body. But this makes gravity analysis a little bit confusing. So let's take a step further back and let's look at uniform objects like this pen. This pen is a uniform and simple object. In such objects, gravity is concentrated at one single point in this object known as the center of mass or the center of gravity. In such a simple object, we get to know that the center of gravity is right in the center of this pen. So thus, by exerting a force right at the center of gravity, which is opposing it, so by exerting an opposable force at the center of gravity, we can see that this pen can actually balance. So where is the balancing point for the bird and where is actually the center of gravity? So, as you can see, you might say the center of gravity may be the center of the bird's body. Well, in that case, you might be wrong. Since the bird balances at the beak, we get a visual idea that the center of gravity is somewhere near the beak. So, as you can see from the diagram here, when we put the bird in such an orientation, the right side of the bird and the left segment of the bird are both symmetrical. That is, mass is distributed evenly in this bird. Such an even mass distribution initiates the process of the perfect balance. So we can see here that even mass distribution plays a vital role in the perfect balance of the bird. In such a pen, a uniform object, we can also see that the left segment and the right segment of the bird are in perfect alignment. So now this brings us to the second concept we are going to learn today, the state of equilibrium. So what is equilibrium? Let's say this pencil for example. When multiple forces are acting upon this pen and the effect of one force neglects or cancels out the other, this pen is said to be in the state of equilibrium or this pen is said to be in equilibrium. So in this equilibrium, the net external torque is equal to zero, which means that this pen is equal to zero, which means it is a very stable position. So if I hold the pen in such a format, we can see that this pen is not in equilibrium because the balancing point from which we are holding it and the center of gravity are not vertically aligned. That's why if I loosen the grip over here, this pen comes back to this position. Similarly, this position or this position is an equilibrium because the center of mass and the balancing point are vertically aligned. So this is simple physics which the bird uses to stay balanced. So now we looked at the structure, but as I told you, we also have to look at the stability which makes this bird balanced. So since the bird's wings are not only facing forward, but are also angled downwards, we get to know that the center of gravity is somewhere near the balancing point. 
point but lower than the balancing point so it may be somewhere around the level of the wings so we now found the balancing point and now we found the center of gravity and that is all simple physics the bird uses to stay balanced so i hope i gave you an understanding about how this balancing bird works and how it makes use of simple physics to stay balanced on any tip top so i hope i gave you a brief understanding on important physical concepts like the state of equilibrium and center of gravity so i hope i gave you an understanding about how the balancing bird works and if you like this video make sure to like and comment share and subscribe so more people get to know about this video and get to know more about science so i hope you enjoyed this video until then it's me and the bird signing off